going on everybody this is renegade number one today i want to talk about your ideal woman your ideal woman is not enough whatever woman you depict to be you know your ideal woman best fit for you she's never gonna be enough And this is why we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about why you need to have at least more than one female. You, you got to have at least two females or three. And I think you got to have, you have to have this many females because, for one, you never want to dedicate all your time and energy to one female because you're going to ultimately leave yourself with um, a lot of disappointment. You're gonna have it's it's most it's like a bad investment. It's like putting all your your chips in one table. You want to divide out all your investments. Women are investments. That's what they are. You gotta look at them from a business standpoint. Why would you spend all your money on a business transaction that could possibly go horrible? Cause that's what they are they're let's just be real women are money grabbers they are parasites they only want to be associated with you for obvious reasons i don't need to go through those but we all know as men that we can't get sex for free we can't get pussy for free we got to pay with some some form or some way but point is no woman is special there is no ideal female, regardless of how you look, or if you ugly, if you sexy, you should still have more than one. Always have a emergency female. Your woman will always cheat on you, whether physically or mentally. And what do I mean by that? When your female is with, just because your girlfriend is with you, your girlfriend can go to the gym, right? She can go to the gym by herself and be looking for attention from other guys at the gym. Now you would you would think a woman who loves you, right? She wouldn't be trying to seek attention at, you know, gyms. She wouldn't try to go to the she wouldn't try to go to a party or a club when she already has a boyfriend. But you know, female logic, right? I got a boyfriend, but I still want attention because you know, these hoes, they don't get enough. So the thing is, you, you got to realize the reason you should always have another girl because you, your girlfriend or your wife is not always thinking about you. She's always thinking about other men. She's always thinking about where her beauty, her, where like her measurements are. She wants to see how many attractive guys she can get. Now, just because she ain't fucking them does not mean she ain't going to cheat on you. She contemplates right and that's what you guys got to understand this is not a it's not um a lot of blue pillars won't understand anything i just said that's why i don't have a relationship because for me i'm not gonna dedicate all my energy to one person but society especially if you believe because most of you believe in god you were taught those monogamous values. You know, be faithful to a woman. Give your all to a female. You know, um, what's the same tired lines, man? There's always that one for you to spend the rest of your life with or some bullshit like that. That stuff is not true, man. That stuff is used to control you. It's used to control the male, too. Think about it. We're, we're For you guys who... I think we all want to feel I think we all want to feel special. You know, we always want to feel like there's somebody who's going to, you know, just be for only us. Cuz I I have had that feeling where I, I used to date and I used to be with women. You know, and you used to feel like I used to feel like, you know, my girlfriend was mine. You know, and I think as guys, we view our girlfriends and our wives as our property and nobody should be touching that, right? Nobody should ever fuck with your girlfriend fuck with your wife but the reality is though you you dug her guts out 
you gave her that good loving, you pay the bills, you do everything right. She's never going to be yours. You can't buy her. Never. You can't buy her. She's, she's always going to want another guy's attention. You know, why, 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 why did this happen to me? What did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. It's just life. That's why when you see some shit like that go down, you always got a second, third, fourth chick on standby. And that's how it has to go. You got to have more than one woman. Because even your ideal chick, even your ideal female will fuck you over. She will do you wrong in the end because guess what? Your, your, your chick that you paint as flawless or a 10 out of 10, she's just like every other female. You got to keep that in mind. Don't look at females as individuals. Look at them as collectives. Period. You know, we all, we as men, we always make that big mistake by always forgetting about that. Don't forget about that. This is, this is, this is how it is. This is part of the black pill. You know, follow. You don't have to be a Muslim to have twelve wives. If you, you know what I'm saying. Paint your own religion. Paint your own perception and viewpoints and utopia. Paint your own utopia of the how the world should be. You a logical person, right? So if you. Think about it. You know women, don't set yourself up for failure. A lot of men end up killing themselves. A lot of men end up killing the guy that fucked around with their girl. Because they, they put all their energy into one person. You know what I'm saying? So we know it's not cheating. It's not cheating. You know what I'm saying? I think... If you promise to dedicate your life to one person and you fuck that person over, then I guess it's cheating. But I would never guarantee, I would never tell a female that she's the only one. She has to respect the fact that I'm going to be talking to other women. Basically, if I ever even thought about getting in a relationship, I would tell it's going to have to be an open relationship. Period. Everybody pick they, you know, five or six girls that they plan to, you know, sleep with. And that's how it goes. Period. But we got too many men who are, you know, and I don't, it's, it's just the American viewpoint. A lot of people around the world, actually. We view that as a negative. We're all brainwashed to think that we just need to be with one woman. And that's false. That's absolutely false. You know, it don't matter how much money you got, she gonna do you wrong. I haven't met not one female yet that would actually be loyal 100% to her man. It's not gonna happen. You know, I feel sorry for the men who were married, who had to go through that to find out. You know, hopefully this video convinces, you know, those who believe in monogamous relationships to actually not fall for that trick because that's a trick and not to get married you know but for those who've already been through that who's already in the hole who's trying to come out the hole divorce your wife man or you know what you don't even have to do that talk to your wife and say you know what i want to be with other women i want to see other people she may be cool with it she may not be cool with it and if she does not cool with it divorce her and just live your life i feel like from a male perspective you're not tied down. You're not put in shackles. You can do whatever you want to do. You're more mobile. You got a girl. You got a girl here. You got a girl here. You got a girl here. And she should learn how to respect that. That's male nature. I think you you try. I think society tries to, or at least religion or whatever whatever way you want to put it, they want to reconstruct the nature of a man. There's more women than men on this planet and you think you think you actually believe that you were only meant for one woman i certain i sure as hell don't period I, I refuse to give all my energy all my attention to a female who's irrelevant and the only thing she can do for you is give you 
intercourse. But that's something I want you guys to think about. This is Renegade number one. Subscribe, like the video. Peace.